Beep boop. We are recording again. Hello. Hello. We have gathered here to start reading chapter 17. Chapter 17 is one of those pretty new chapters that required more writing. And now we're almost uh, almost ready with it. I still have one last scene to figure out, but the meat of the chapter is there. The text is pretty much finalized and I think we're good to read it. They landed atop a monumental plateau at the city's perimeter. Warehouses, offices and hangars filled up the immediate horizon. Farther in the mist, the massive docking pads crawled up and down, levitating ships to their approved takeoff altitudes. Raptor shut the glider down and rushed out. Wait here! I'll have the port officials bring him back down! Jewel slid from her seat without making a fuss. Let him do the official dance. No harm in looking out for other options. She scanned the immediate area, her mind absorbing any details that might spark a plan. Aha! Uh -huh. She'd... <laughs> Is that aha uh -huh, or more like aha? Uh -huh. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> she s she'd spotted a dawdling hover buggy with a vacant face driver by an old style hangar. Jewel's eyes narrowed, and she felt her muscles spring in the anticipation of a well doled vengeance. Sending one last cautious glance towards Raptor, she sprinted across the field and shoved her badge into the unsuspecting driver's face. Seeker Vestal Vergaea take me to it. The driver's eyes bounced back and forth between the badge and the steaming mug on his lap. But, but I'm on my break. Jewel hauled herself into the buggy and chucked the mug overboard. Not anymore. Now. For Gaia. The driver unfolded a logistical console, scrolled through some docking data within an audible grumble, and took off, steering the buggy towards the plateau's farther end. The docking pad pushing up Vagaya had looked a lot lower from afar. Just they a rode. second. Okay, uh, yeah. I will in induce a scene break here because Ooh. dun 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 <laughs> because it is implied that a little bit of time passes between this and taking the buggy off completes one action and now we're facing a whole new thing. Yep. Oh, and also, I would like to add that at the beginning of this chapter, we are somewhere, uh, some somewhere at the outskirts of the uh, city where Joel's uh, childhood uh, home is, and we have left all the death and mayhem of her childhood home behind, and she and Overseer Raptor are chasing her dun 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 arch nemesis and slash colleague called uh, Wraith. So that's that's what's happening here. Carry on. The docking pad pushing up Vergaea had looked a lot lower from afar. They rose into growing winds and Jewel had to... P Let me start that again. I've just... Uh, <laughs> what's going on? You're speeding up yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Focus. <laughs> The docking pad pushing up Vergaea had looked a lot lower from afar. They rose into growing winds, and Jewel had to keep pushing the overgrown hair fluff out of her face, internally cursing her lapse in basic self-maintenance. Circle around. I need to locate the emergency hatch. The driver complied with a shrug. This is a seeker vessel. You a seeker. Shouldn't you... There is no is. No, no, there is no is. This a seeker vessel. Oh yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting that. Mm-hmm. The driver complied with a shrug. This is a seeker vessel. You a seeker. Shouldn't you, dunno, have some standard layout or something? He pulled up some snot and wiped the excess onto his, into his sleeve. For, uh, collaboration and such. Jewel shot a menacing squint at the driver and another at the ship. We pick our own vessels. And this twat plays with way bigger toys than he should. She grabbed the hair flapping on her forehead and held it down. There! I see it! Keep going! She pointed to their left. You've got gecko clamps all around this thing, right? Stick us directly to the hatch. And do! Once okay, the buggy stable. Wait, oh. wait, wait, I will... I wanna do... Uh, 
do something here. This is a seeker vessel. You a seeker. <laughs> Shouldn't you guys, don't know, have some standard layout or something? Yeah, because it's like, it's the you people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, you people might uh, might work even better. Yeah. It's a seeker vessel. You a seeker? Shouldn't you people, don't know, have some standard layout or something? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, it is possible that somebody else stumbles and and uh, and picks it up too. So in that case, I will I will figure out a way to sort of ref reframe it a little bit. But basically, I I I do not intend him to say this is a seeker vessel. It's mm -hmm, it's more yeah. like. Hmm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and let me see. Yeah. Okay. Carry on. Uh, all right. Cool. Once the buggy stabilized, Jewel lo located a small off-surface panel in the middle of the hatch and pried it open. Here's a standard thing for you. The mighty override orifice, she sneered, pushing her badge into the slot. For collaboration and such. <laughs> With the manual controls unlocked, she tucked her badge into a breast pocket, fighting against the growing tremble in her hands. I'm going to read that again. Uh, just a second. Probably tuck the badge back into in, into a breast pocket. Yeah, yeah. Her breast pocket. It's getting too. It's it's getting a little bit too breasty here. <laughs> mm. uh. With the manual controls unlocked, she tucked her badge back into the breast pocket fighting against the growing tremble in her hands. I don't like the. That's that's my only problem with it right now. Which the? The uh, the one before breast pocket. Back into the breast pocket. Her, her but then we've got so many hers, haven't we? Hmm. Uh, easy. I mean, I would be happy to drop all the A's and those because uh, <laughs> I think there are you people have way too many of those <laughs> lying around. <laughs> but uh, but I know that that will not fly. When we do the Estonian version, you can cut them all out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her breast pocket works best there, okay. considering you've changed the first one. Yeah, nice. With the mat. With the manual controls unlocked, she tucked the badge back into her breast pocket, fighting against the growing tremble in her hands. Not now, damn it! Fumbling with the seat harness, she made an effort to sound strong and calm. <laughs> All set. Pull it. The buggy backed up, yanking the hatch open. Perfect. Now get me as close as you can. She made the jump, stumbling through the airlock into a sealed multi-level junction. Her powerful euphoria had shrunk to a speck, and a dark blur doused her field of vision. Steadying herself against a walkway, she bent over and cleared her airways. She took a moment to accumulate a generous glob of the Sindisa goop, and spewed it at the clean bulkhead with gusto. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> so as a, as a commentary, the uh, the part about her deliberately spitting on his ship is one of the later additions. Uh, in the in the earlier versions, uh, she just uh, uh, coughed some shit up as a as a part of uh, part of the unpredictable uh, nature of the treatment. Now this is more like an act of vandalism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that bit. That's uh, I I couldn't tell you what my favourite. I think I like it all. I'm gonna be really. I'm gonna have a cop out answer to this question and say I just really like all of it. 
Amazing job, the editor. <laughs> or the editor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, car oh. carry on. Yeah. With her breathing restored to near normal, she stood, taking extra care to avoid cameras. By now, the ship's systems would have alerted Wraith that another seeker had boarded. As if on cue, his irksome speech patterns erupted from the comms. Well, oh, hang on. No. <laughs> There's only one person who can read this. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me. <coughs> Welcome aboard, dear colleague. I regretfully assume your intent is to interfere with my business. I wish to convince you otherwise, so let us parley. You will understand, of course, that I cannot allow you to roam loose on my vessel. Jewel rolled her eyes. Wraith possessed the uncanny talent of making standard galactic sound poetic. Perversely so. Now what? Posing for an art scanner? Get on with it! After all, you could be one of those foolhardy idealists! Already dealt with one today! Or you could be representing competing interests! The reality of our work! In the background, electronical beeps mixed with movement shuffles. I am granting you controlled access to a location of my choosing! We shall meet there! Once the junction, uh, one of the junction pas passages opened up. Naturally, I'll be waiting with some precautions. Jewel caught the casual plop 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 of shells going into the loader before he spoke again. I sincerely hope good business prevails. Be seeing you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> she thought he would never shut up. At least his yapping gives me some rest time. After examining the closed access points at the junction, she decided against another badge override. If it fails, he'll know something's up. If it works, I won't know where to go. Speaking of... Jewel emerged from the first open doorway, looking for a systems interface. No equipment here, just a short passageway. She edged towards the next opening. The house security shooter pointed ahead. An empty junction. Beyond it, a dim hallway, just as empty. Phew. Farther ahead, next to some emergency gear, the glimmer of a system terminal caught her eye. Making sure she was still alone, Jewel approached it, opened the evacuation plans and studied them until she was able to visualise Vergea's whole layout. The zero clearance mode wouldn't let her view the motion tracking or door status, but with the ship's spatial... M Z ha. The zero clearance mode wouldn't let her view the motion tracking or door status, but with the ship's spatial mo model rotating before her mind's eye, she could make some educated guesses about Wraith's intended meeting place. Was there or carry on? Uh, I'm I'm thinking, <clears throat> like on one hand, it's it is a mouthful, and it is one of those very packed sentences but on the other hand uh, I think I think let's leave it like this uh, unless somebody else points out something that doesn't clearly work how are we doing out there I am a patient man but my offer won't stand forever fuck me <laughs> some of his words had carried to her directly just from a few more doorways ahead proving her educated guesses incorrect if I stay put long enough, he'd have to come. She paused and stooped, hands on her knees, drawing careful breaths to ease her gag reflex. Apparently her body couldn't be trusted with a waiting game, at least not here. Frustrated, she jabbed at the hallway panelling, needlessly expensive, like all wraith's equipment. Oh. Oh my. This is some nice interior indeed. Jewel grinned. Wouldn't it be a shame if some if someone happened to vandalize it? <laughs> Her nightsticks bounced away from the lighting strip with <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Oh my. This is some nice interior indeed. Jewel grinned. Wouldn't it be a shame if someone happened to vandalize it? Her nightsticks bounced away from the lighting strip without causing much damage, but the circuit covers caved in nicely. 
She swung another blow towards the expensive-looking surface, aiming for maximum noise. Oi! What is going on? Crash. Hey now, that's not very nice. Hello me. Yeah, Oi! Go on. What is going on? Crash! <laughs> hey now, that is not very nice. Carry on. A final whack at the precious panelling broke her worn-down nightstick. Jewel grabbed the pieces and hurried back the path she'd come, content to hear some alarm in Wraith's voice, even as he maintained his melodramatic verbosity. Verbosity? Verbosity. Go on. Well then, what an unfortunate development. <laughs> it seems I am forced to consider your objectives adverse to mine. Footsteps, gear shuffles. He was definitely on the move now. Uh, I think you can carry on because there are no more race lines here. Jewel rushed back to the terminal. The floor pants. Wow, okay. <laughs> 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 Breathing. If you could just work, that'd be great. Uh, where were we? Uh, uh, read, you okay, can read, yeah. read from footsteps. Oh yeah. Footsteps, gear shuffles. He was definitely on the move now. Jewel rushed back to the terminal, the floor plan still on its display. She returned to the main menu and gave a hearty tap to the emergency option. Hull breach, gases, no, no. Ah yes, give me fire. <laughs> the, light, the lighting strip switched to the alert and direct mode. Alarms blared all over the ship and all doors unlocked, allowing the hypothetical crew to run for the escape pods. Jewel scrambled ahead until she saw a suitable covert nook. Crouch. Weapon check. All set. Steady. Keep aim. Breathe. Wait. Wait. A torn shadow quivered around the corner. Wraith's vintage shotgun and fancy clad elbow after it. Jewel took the shot. Another. Too soon. Shit. The protruding barrel dipped, and she heard a muffled curse. She sent a third shot after the retreating shadow, and tiptoed backwards. She'd have time to freak out about projectiles and holes later. Right now, she needed to find a better position. In the floor plans, one room had stood out to her. Secluded, single entrance with a long, narrow hallway leading to it. She continued on to the depths of Vergaea, randomly closing and opening doorways to leave some confusion about her trajectory. Got to stay calm. Keep going. It's not that far. Okay, stop here. Uh, mm -hmm. One... Uh, I wouldn't say world-building thing. It's it's about changing just one word, but I'm, I'm wondering. <clears throat> uh, the safety measure... Uh, safety measure for uh, for unfortunate things happening aboard uh, aboard a ship. So right now I have written escape pods, but I'm wondering if it should be something like uh, emergency pods or or or, mm. uh, or distress pods or something. So like you don't necessarily have to abandon the ship, but uh, but it is it is it, you know. It's a little sealed off, sealed off spa safe space where you might just have to wait out until, let's mm -hmm. say, until the fire is out or so. Emergency pods wraps wraps that up nicely. Yeah. Or distress. Mm, I prefer emergency, but I mean distress basically means the same thing, doesn't it? Really. Okay. Of course. Uh, there is the thing, like, she returned to the main menu and gave a heart attack to, to the emergency <laughs> option, so it's, yeah. it's gonna... Yeah... Okay. <coughs> <coughs> go, with, go with distress pods, and if anyone picks up on it, okay. then... Or not picks up on it, but if anybody mentions it, then we'll, uh... We will reconvene for debate mm -hmm. at a later <laughs> later time. Yeah, because it it will be relatively easy to wiggle the words around here a little bit so that everybody's happy and the meaning mm -hmm. is pertained. 
but but yeah, that's uh, <laughs> uh, I sort of sort of caught it uh, during the reading. I was like, hmm, might need to change that a little bit, or like tune it tune it up to be better. And one thing that uh, that I haven't verbalized later on, uh, but that is sort of sort of implied, or if anybody asks, uh, the prisoner hold. Or, or you know the containment unit. Uh, I have I have described the individual holding uh, holding units as capsules, and since that door will stay locked w no matter what, mm, I was thinking that uh, let's say if you're a bounty hunter and you have a sort of holding area for your catch, and you still have to. Uh, uh, have to be ready for, or have to, have to be prepared for all sorts of uh, calamities, then it would stand to reason that the containment pods or containment uh, containment capsules actually double as some sort of safety safe containment. Like even even if so, it's like when you're bringing in your uh, your precious cargo and. Uh, and let's say you have a hull breach and and uh, your pressure drops you don't want your uh, your prisoners to die off on you so on one hand they are contained on the other hand they are also safe to begin with yeah okay uh how much are we going to go on with this we can go as far as you like. Let me check. How much space do I have on my hard drive? 30 gig. Okay, let's carry on for a while. Jewel came to a halt, blood pounding in her temples and her mouth dry. Perhaps invading the ship on her own had not been the brightest plan after all. But I'm here now. She spat, knocked her fists together and pushed on. According to her mental map, she was a corner turn away from the junction that would lead to her desired holdout spot. Indeed, soon the emergency lights outlined two opposing ramps, one leading up to the command, the other down to the secluded room. Jewel had to fight the instinct to rush over, forcing herself to move methodically from shadow to shadow until she could safely crop. Jewel had to fight the instinct to rush over, forcing herself to move methodically from shadow to shadow until she could safely access the door at the end of the passage. See through authorization required? Even now? Once inside, Jewel let her gaze bounce over the two rows of upright containment capsules. Of course! It is contract hold! Altogether, she counted twelve sealed units surrounding a central walkway and had to admit a tinge of jealousy thinking of all the multi-target jobs this setup would allow. Targets. Hold on! Fortune must be in here too! She rushed from capsule to capsule, unlocking them with her badge. Finally, when busting the left row unit by the entrance, she met Fortune's startled eyes inside. Jewel! He untangled himself from the restraints and squeezed her forearms, disbelief and hope mixed on his face. How? <laughs> <laughs> she mixed. She returned the arm squeeze and topped it off with a thin smile of encouragement. Science, magic, whatever. She helped him step out. Come, we don't have much time. Fortune took a hesitating step towards the door. How are we going to get out safely? We're not. He is coming to us. Jewel scanned the surroundings, a plan forming. Come on, let's move you away from the entrance. She led Fortune to right side row end capsule and gently pushed him in. Behind them, she heard the main door locking up. The alarms fell silent and the comms crackled, about to deliver Wraith's next tirade. <coughs> Congratulations, dear colleague! According to the system log, you have made your way to my precious cargo! Well done indeed! However, this is where I must interfere to ensure your demise and timely delivery to my customers. Do stay put. Fortune gave her a pleading look. He almost killed you. Be careful. 
Jewel nodded. I'm locking you in now. Get down. Low as you can. If I should fail, know that Raptor, my overseer, is on his way. Just stay down. Stay quiet. She sealed the unit and hurried back towards the entrance, dispensing distractions and decoys among the containment units. Open wide. Jacket peekaboo here. Suspicious cover cracks here. Broken nightstick here. Father, must look accidental. And done. She snuck into the capsule where Fortune had been held before, leaving the cover a hairline ajar and kept the shooter pointed at the entrance. She didn't have to wait long. The containment area floor flew open and a swarm of pellets whizzed past the capsules. Area floor? Where are we looking? What, say that again? You say the containment area floor. Area door. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Just a second, I want to check something. Mm. It's because the next word is flu. I, yeah, I know. His ship's weird if the floor flies open. So earlier, when uh, Jewel and Raptor land, uh, what does she do? S slide out? Or she slid out? I think she slid it out, but we'd have to check it. I will check, because it was one or the other, and I wanted to have the other here. Yeah, Jewel slid from her seat without making a okay. fuss. So in this case, she was slipped slip out. Okay, carry on. She didn't have to wait long. The containment area door flew open, and a swarm of pellets whizzed past the capsules, accompanied by a sickeningly familiar boom that made Jewel's scars tingle. She kept her shooter aimed as Wraith stepped into the holding bay, his vintage-style shotgun back in business. Must be using a vintage propellant too. My ears are still fucking ringing. He granted her hideout a mere side glance and continued down the walkway. Jewel listened to his steps and slipped out, silent as a shadow. That's right, motherfucker. Eyes front. She sent two quick projectiles into his large armoured back and levelled the barrel with his head as she sent two quick projectiles into his large armoured back and levelled the barrel with his head as he turned before the surprise could fully register on his face she squeezed the trigger again okay stop stop there because <laughs> this is like dramatic pause here <laughs> uh, so basically the inner thought about vintage <laughs> propellant is mm -hmm. is our our way of inserting the idea that even though they are using what what we would what we would describe as firearms it's not it's not a hundred percent same thing it's not uh it's not necessarily gunpowder it's not necessarily the same materials so that you can it could it could possibly it could be a very viable thing that you do shoot the gun next to somebody and uh, and they won't burst their eardrums that's 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 the idea here so the point that rafe shotgun is loud is kind of a uh, kind of a note kind of a uh, mini mini plot point or or more like world building point here mm -hmm. now what <laughs> i think since uh, 30 gigs runs out pretty quick we should probably wrap this up right here it's 29 uh. now oh okay the thing is that we've been we've been reading fast we haven't uh, discussed so much so that's that's why it's uh also, are you using Fraps or OBS? Fraps, right now. Oh. It's I guess because, recording uh, Skype is... Yeah, uh, the, the Skype window isn't uh, ho uh, isn't all that uh, all that big or all that high quality. Like, uh, I'm, I'm aiming at 600 times 800. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a little, little bit off that, so during rendering it's going to create some lines, but... <laughs> what, will, what, what, what can you do? I'm going to continue. Okay. <laughs> Jewel kicked Wraith's weapon away and kept hers pointed at his sprawled form until certain his life signs had ceased, then sent two more projectiles into his forehead. 
Just making sure. She unlocked Fortune's capsule and found him hunched, hands over his ears. Hey, it's safe now. You can come out. He blinked at her and peeked out. Uh, sure. Is he dead? Very much so. I made sure. To her surprise, Fortune nodded with a wide, content smile. Good. You did well, sis. Whoa. Yeah, I'd better sit down. My head feels all funny. Fortune sat on the floor beside her. You know, I can feel it too. Momentum's changing. Jewel frowned, her mind not quite up to the task of thinking and remembering. Oh, right. They were going to bring the ship back down. Let's just wait here. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, this is where this scene wraps up. And uh, this chapter will have one more scene when where our disgruntled heirs uh, <laughs> regroup uh, with Raptor and Raptor's people at House Harper. So it's so so it's like a little bit of a a soft soft conclusion. There will be one more chapter after this with some fuller conclusions or like proper arc reveals but uh, but after of the, of the uh, ship shootout there will be this sort of li little bit of uh, wind down uh, our code name for this is days wrap up back at the ranch loot experience <laughs> points so basically the party, party gathers and and uh and counts their losses and mourns their dead and uh celebrates the victories. And I have I have yet to put that scene together properly. Right now it's it's a bunch of notes. And uh, this is If I wasn't wearing yeah. headphones, I'd be spinning on my chair right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> done and done. Also, yeah. this hair is this chair is harder to spin than that one. <laughs> yeah, Nux has been waiting for uh, for this scene for a while. There is a, the the context here is also that this uh, the standout or the jewel faces wraith in the final battle of death. Uh, this scene has changed quite a bit uh, fr from its uh, from its first draft uh, uh, first draft version. You care to explain? Like what? What I was it? What was it like originally? It would the, the original was a mess. <laughs> when I first wrote it, it was a total mess. There was a lot of, um, I mean, if you're talking about the original original, it doesn't even look anything like this current mm. version. Mm. And if you're talking about the second rewrite, where it was all like her going through engine rooms and shit like that, and uh. Then that was like the second version we wrote, and that was also a mess compared to. I mean, this is awesome. The version that you've got now is is spot on. I feel emotional when I read this one. <laughs> the first one didn't didn't provoke anything. It was just like Jewel moving through a scene, wrapping mm. up the shit that she needed to wrap up. In this, I want to reach out and hug Fortune and Jewel at the end of this. I'm like, you motherfuckers, you made it. Congratulations, you know. So yeah. The, I can't, I can't remember the original original perfectly, mm. but I know it was a mess and didn't look anything like this. And the uh, second, yeah. what I from what was... I remember, uh, the first draft version had a lot of things happening, like a lot of things ho going on, a lot of uh, uh, a, a lot of physical action. Uh, I mean. One, uh, oh, you mean the when they were in the engine room and they were fighting with like the wrench and the shotgun? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I get it, yeah. so one one thing we changed was the physical level of the fight because uh, point one, even with all the super nano duper uh, healing bots inside Jewel's system, she still was properly dying just a few hours ago. 
and even even with all the nano boost, she's still weak, and mm-hmm. and uh, and also her uh, her organism is uh, is uh, behaving uh, in unpredictable ways. So she she can't rely on her physical strength here. So this this is one thing that we explicitly brought in that she sort of has these moments of weakness and and uh, and moments where her emotions betray her and all that. And I think the other uh what was the other thing? Yeah, there there was there was a lot of physical action and there was a lot of banter too, I think. Mm-hmm. Which I mercilessly cut down <laughs> <laughs> with a scythe. Yes. And then this the, and then when we were editing this or discussing this section and the rough text from the next version that came out was just Jewel doesn't say anything. Mm-hmm. She just you know it's Blows a, on. Yeah. I I think that fits much better than the whole drawn mm-hmm. out smacking each other with <laughs> wrenches and shooting each other with dual SMGs, you know. <laughs> so I approve. <laughs> I'm very happy. I would I would like to add that the uh, uh, the sequence where she uh, where where we w- okay we we worked out the back and forth like uh, we had a general idea what Wraith does that we don't see and what Jewel does and and how the interaction points come and how Jewel forms the plans I would like to point out that the planning part is uh, I concocted that the the setting up the trap and the and the luring him out and and uh, mm-hmm. and leading him to the area where where she had tactical might have might have had ta- tactical upper hand that was that was my gamer brain <laughs> <laughs> yeah excellent so we will wrap up this reading here uh the last bit of chapter 17 that I am still working on, we're gonna read this together with chapter 18, because it is going, it is a little bit uh, connect- connective piece between the two, mm-hmm. and of course chapter 18 still needs quite a bit of work because all while all the information is there, it needs to be smoothed into actual text. Mm-hmm. There, there is a lot of actual text too. But uh, it needs to be connected with uh, with the rest of the text. So so there. But until we get there, thank you very much for watching, and I guess bye. See ya. Bye.